Breaking news, Nintendo's done it again. They shadow dropped a whole bunch of information on Sinnoh Remakes and Legends Arceus. Let's break down what this news is and what does it mean for E3. First off, Nintendo gave us a release date for Legends Arceus. This is January 28th, 2022. So this is so soon. I'm extremely excited for this game, but I'm a little worried if this is, you know, too soon for this game, but only time can tell. But this means Nintendo dropped a huge thing for E3, which I want to talk about later in the video. What does this mean for E3? Next up, we have release dates for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. This is going to be November 19th. Happy birthday, dad. And on Honestly, this is about the same time we get new Pokemon games every single year. It's like that third week in November. Nothing new here. But then again, we also got the release dates, but we did get the box arts, which tells us a little bit about Legends Arceus. First off, I've seen this box art before, haven't you? Oh yeah, it looks exactly like Breath of the Wild. The comparisons for these two games are uncanny, and I want to talk about Breath of the Wild in a little bit. Like, come on, this is literally Pokemon Breath of the Wild. There's a lot of creativity here, but it's Breath of the Wild. Definitely excited to see they're really hammering home those three starter Pokemons in Cyndaquil, Rowlet, and Oshawa. Bidoof is technically now a cover Pokemon, but yes, Bidoof is now a cover Pokemon for a Pokemon game. The Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl box art is pretty normal for a Pokemon game, nothing surprising here. But I will say the detail on these Pokemon renders are incredible. With this box art, they did also announce a double pack that you can get for these two games. Here's the box art for that. That's also November 19th. Anyways, here's my predictions about these games and E3. First off, I think the Sinnoh remakes will have kind of their own Delta episode with Garantina and bringing in Pokemon Platinum into those two games. I really do think that's going to be our one last thing. Second, there's Legends Arceus. They dropped the release date and that's a huge thing and that's probably an E3 type announcement that we would be getting. And this game's also coming out after the holiday. Instead, I want to talk about the implications for E3 here. I don't think we're going to be seeing much of Pokemon at E3. Instead, I think it's going to be Breath of the Wild. And I say this not because I don't want to see Pokemon. I think we're going to get a new Pokemon Direct right after E3. But having a Pokemon Direct right after E3 keeps the conversation going. Also, we can get more on Pokemon. I think E3 is going to be a huge Breath of the Wild too, and also a bunch of new IPs and announcements, and of course, Splatoon 3. Pokemon will probably be put on the back burner and have its own Pokemon Direct. Let me know what team you're going to be using in Sinnoh down in the comments. Personally, I'm super excited for E3 and everything that we're going to be getting, covering it all, and of course, playing these games once they all come out. Anyways, see you guys in the next video.